Welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. Um, we are now going to launch our third satellite to increase our communications and launch. Just check the map view um, as to where we are. We are here and we got one, two satellites over there. We're going to launch up to around here. Now looks like a good time to go. We'll throttle up SAS on. Wow, we are rocking a little bit. We'll just let that kind of settle. Seems to have an apoapsis in the middle of our craft. I don't know why we've got that. I don't know why we're rocking so badly. Um, yeah. We will revert that flight to launch. I'm sure that's something I did wrong. Is that something I did wrong? See, he's nice and stable there. Um, but we're going to get going before we have to wait. Um, so, um, in minus 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, we're off. And heading up. Uh, nighttime launch this particular one. It was chosen to uh, a combination of uh, best time for the satellite to launch and just where we happen to be when we wanted to go. Up we go. This is our third satellite. Hopefully, this will give us a semblance of coverage they will start to be able to see each other and communicate with each other maybe they need a bit more altitude maybe a hundred thousand isn't enough I'm not sure what the best position would be but we get these three up they've all got plenty of Delta V for repositioning that was the plan so that I can learn as I go without running out of fuel This stage of the launch always seems to be going nicely nowadays. It's the next bits that are the problem. So if you are watching on YouTube then uh, or Twitch, then do hit that follow button because um, it's always nice to uh, um, have regular people knowing uh, or coming and watching my videos and my streams and giving me some updates and help and tips because uh, I have to say I am not the best Kerbal Space Program player learn by my mistakes um, hopefully that's not too dark for you it is a bit dark but look at the beautiful um, don't look at the scenery, don't look at the scenery. We are in the middle of a launch. It's very important that we concentrate very hard. We're gonna stage any moment now. With the extra inline wheel, we should have more control. And Apoapsis is in space. So, with the extra wheel, we've got our reaction wheel that we've added. We've got plenty of control. Apoapsis is actually there already. Um, we might just raise that. Um, so stage. Gonna go for the full 100. That's close enough to a full 100 for my number systems. Add a maneuver. out to there about a hundred each way again we'll use the computer put us on the node and execute and we've got we've got a lot of Delta V in this stage definitely overcooked it um, time warp until the computer kicks in does the burn for us, we've still got communications, we need to extend the aerial activate the aerial that's good brilliant now what are we doing wrong we have not got anywhere near enough altitude I think we need each of these uh, the satellites to be much, much, much higher, I think. 
So we'll start with this one and we'll push it out to what? What does that say? 200,000. Yeah, we'll push them to 200,000. Going the wrong way with that. 200,000. Node and execute before we lose communication. Let the computer do all the hard work of the throttle. Here it goes. Hundred thousand, and then we'll hit that one there. Add maneuver node, and we'll go the other way. Oh, that I know is too far. Two hundred three node and execute. Just about to lose, I think, um, communications, but that will push this craft up to the two hundred. There we go. Connections just lost, um, but it should do the. Um, the burn for us. So we'll just switch to this one. This is this is our first sat one, was it? Is it sat one? Comsat one, yep. Yeah. Um, still got plenty of fuel. One of the bigger probe devices there. Um, and when that gets signal, which it hasn't yet, which it will do soon, we may as well just use that bit there. And we'll push that out to about the 200,000 as well. Right, so that'll get us to there. Node and execute but that won't until we get some communications there we go uh, node are you moving on to the node or not let's get rid of some of these what do these buttons here do anyway Got communications, why can I not get rid of these? What's all this? Connection error slave. Error slave? What does that mean? I was on the wrong, I, that window, you need to close it. You need to close that window each time you switch craft because that window is still talking to the other craft. The other satellite. So there we go, there is the engine kicking in. Brilliant. And then Again, we'll do the same over here. Push that out to 100,000 as well. Uh, 200,000 even. Two hundred thousand. Node. And then when it's on the node, we'll hit the execute button. Uh, 
and then we will switch back to this guy we'll close the computer down reopen that one and then we'll speed up time until he reaches his designated burn time but they've got communication between those two now that's what we want to see to see right come on computer kick in for us There we go. Right. Uh, ah, what's this? Um, 777 kilometers. Actually, is quite good for a Kerbin Omni network for four sats. But it's a long time since I did a Kerbin Orbital Com network. As high as that. Yeah, you may be right. Um, 700. I'm at 200 now. So they're talking to each other. That's good. You're talking to that. So let's switch to you because then we can do the burn straight away. 700, you say. Ah, where are we? Oh, at the maneuver seven hundred seems a long way. That's a long way up. Let's go five hundred. Node execute Leonda welcome to the uh, to the stream feel free to chime in and tell me where I'm going wrong because if it wasn't for Yem I would be in trouble right now execute node execute am I on the wrong computer let's close them all down node execute Signal delay is too high to execute. What, what do you mean the signal delay is too high? I've turned signal delay off. Um, but it might be high if this is not 90% equal distance. Yeah. What are we trying to achieve? Okay, so we're in a science mode here. Um, signal delay is too high. I may have missed my manoeuvre node. Let's go prograde and let's do it manually. Um, so we're in science mode. Um, we've got remote tech. And we've just run out of fuel in this stage, I hope. Ooh, there we go. Um, why are these not burning? Oh, there they go. Whew. There was a bit of a delay. I wasn't expecting the delay. Right. We're going to push it out to 500.
close enough for me. Um, I will add the manoeuvre node to make this one 500 as well. I think I need to get back to my other satellites, so we need to hurry up this. That do. That's good enough for me. Node and execute. Go. Brilliant. Right, we've got another satellite switch to. I think that's the one we're coming to now. Yep, he's got some stuff about to happen there. Com one, it's about to happen there. So it's, but we're moving it up even higher, aren't we? Up to five hundred is the plan. That should do it. Right. So yeah, what is the what is the plan? Um, so the plan is we're running in science mode, we're running in with remote tech, and we did the SETI un start unmanned to be able to uh, see whether we can use uh, probes rather than the Kerbal still or the hard work. Um, you won't get connection again before you get to the node since the KSC turns the other way. Yeah, but because I've already planned the maneuver or planned in it in, it's it does the maneuver for you, hopefully. Seems to, anyway. Um What manoeuvre you got planned now? Seventeen minutes. You haven't got any manoeuvres planned. So here we go. Right. Good, good, good. That's you. Who's next? Comsat two point two. Uh, you should have a much higher orbit on your relay nodes. Yeah, I I was a little bit low, I think, but I'm getting there. 500 might be enough. We might. We've got plenty of delta v in these satellites, so we'll uh, we'll go up if we need to. Where we where's that taking us to that maneuver node? That's taking us up to 500. So yeah, that's good. Let's accelerate time because the computer will stop us when it's time um, and uh, here we here we go uh, yep yeah, need that those little engines go. Look at them. You can do it. It's my little satellite. I mean they're not going to be, um, they're not exactly future proofed because they haven't got big dishes and stuff like that. But we managed to cram on a bunch of solar panels onto it. And I think it looks pretty cute. So uh, Yeah, they, they, they these will drift, but never mind. Right, so what have we got? We got um, one satellite there. Let's switch to this one here and have a look what the heck's going on here. So we got 499 there, but only 17, well, 197 there. So get that one up to 500 and about 500 and we get the computer up and hope he gets on communications 
should do. You're right, it's moving around, but hopefully it should get communication before we hit the node. There we go. Get onto the node, please, computer, and execute when able. There we go. Perfect. One of the older satellites. Ah, what are we? Comsat 3. Have I done nothing with Comsat 3? Switch to Comsat 3. And we're 200 by 200. Uh, we need to be 500 now, don't we? Um, so we're there. We're going to have to wait until somebody sees us. There we go. Right before the periapsis. That's not too bad at all. That'll do. Ah. Yeah, I can see you, but you can't see anything, can you? Yep, so that's um, not going to be quite as useful. Don't think anyone's going to get any communications. I think you might be right. I think I need to be higher. Right, now we've got communications. Out of an Uber. I think we've got to be even higher than 500, haven't we? I probably need, ah, I need more, more satellites anyway. So let's put this one up to 500 as well. And let's just add more satellites. Besides mode, we're not paying any bills, so the government has said, forget the money, don't worry about the money, you just do whatever you need to do for your space program, and, um, and we're spending the money as much as we can. That's alright. We can stage. Wow, that's a bit of a wobble. I'm not sure that was supposed to happen. That was a lot of a wobble, but luckily the bit that broke was the bit that we didn't need anymore. Right, so he's there. Let's uh, add the manoeuvre here. Push that out to there. And computer put us on the node and execute when able now I don't think he's gonna have coverage may do if he gets there quick enough and that one still has coverage it's gonna be close I don't know No, he's lost it. And there's no communications. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't need it because I just set it up when I had communications. So that's all that matters. Right, so we've now got a satellite system with two really close together and one right over there. Well, they're the perfect distance apart. Look at that. That is absolutely spot on ideal. So, 
Let's launch another one. Let's get another one up there. The more we got up there. Um, once again, if you're watching on YouTube, we're going to put a cut in it here. If uh, uh, in the next episode, we're going to go for our fourth satellite and try and tidy up the network a little bit. Thank you very much indeed for watching. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, then please consider giving me a like. If you haven't already, please subscribe to hear about when I do some more videos. In the meantime, if you want to click on one of the other videos that I've done on, uh, on a different game, then uh, these are my latest ones. Please go ahead. Or if you click on the next video in this series, that'll take you directly to the next video in this series if I've done it and uploaded it. Thanks for watching.